Hey friend, Aaron Dowd here, another quick tutorial for you for Logic. Uh, I've called this video Ripple Delete for Logic Pro 10 because even though it's called Delete and Move, it's basically Ripple Delete. So if you go up here to your settings and under Key Commands, Edit, type in Delete and Move, you'll see that you can set uh, a keyboard shortcut for this. And I've set this to Command Tilde, and I'm gonna hit Replace here. And so basically anytime I select a region or multiple regions of this track and hit command tilde, it deletes and scooches everything over. And this is a huge time saver, time saver if you're editing a bunch. Like in this case, I know I want to cut this out. Well, the way I used to do it is select it, uh, delete it, click on this, hit shift F, which selects all in front and then move it over. But that's pretty time consuming and if you do that a lot over the course of an ed episode, it really adds up. So the new way, you just highlight all the regions for any track that you wanna ripple delete and hit command tilde, boom, it moves it over. So this is a game changer for me and I wish I would have discovered this four years ago when I first started editing podcasts full time, but I know about it now and I'm sharing it with you. So I hope you implement this. Once again, uh, hit option K to customize your keyboard shortcut and then select uh, learn by key position and then you can customize it to whatever you want. I really like command tilde because I can do that with my left hand while I'm editing and I don't need to move over to the right side to hit delete or some other key. So make it something that uh, your left hand can hit very easily. Yeah, and this is, uh, this is really amazing. Who knew? Wish I would have known a long time ago. Okay, anyways, that's it for this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions. If you wanna learn more stuff about this, uh, Logic specifically, I've got some other videos on my YouTube channel. Otherwise, head over to AaronDowd.com to see what else I do related to podcasting. I like to teach people about podcasting, so you might be interested in that. Uh, yeah, that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.